Today on JMO, I have an, another uh, topic today. I'm here to talk about uh, Brad Keselowski and his new leadership role in uh, Penske Racing um, since the departure of Kurt Busch and his new teammate, A.J. Allmendinger, who shows a lot of promise for 2012. So, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a good, uh, good season for Penske Racing, I believe. Um, you know, Brad Keselowski has come a long way in his career, in his short career, I should add. Um, he's, he's had less, uh, less cup track time than A.J. Allmendinger has, but he's, so far he's, he's got, He's got more to show for it than AJ does, but but Brad is a uh, he. Brad's a true racer, and and that's that's one of the reasons why, I, as a person, respect him as a driver, um, as a and as a fan. Of course, I expect him as a I respect him as a fan. Uh, I, uh, I I've been watching Brad uh, ever since 2008. He he's been around ever. since ever since uh, I, I've been watching so Brad has Brad has always had my eye and uh, more more so when he was driving the junior motorsports car uh, than any time else but until now at Penske of course but Brad has shown a lot of promise and uh, and, the, and the fact of the matter is that he's building championship caliber crew chiefs by running the Nationwide Series races. I mean, he, he's already promoted the guy that he had lead his Nationwide effort for 2011 up to Cup, and he'll be the crew chief for A.J. Allmendinger's Na Nationwide Series team. Um, after the after the departure of uh, Steve Addington, Kurt Busch was let go, and he will now drive for Phoenix Racing, and which opted uh, Shell Pennzoil and Penske Racing to pursue A.J. Allmendinger, who who left the 43 car from Richard Petty Motorsports to take this ride, so AJ is going to be good. Um, he he's definitely going to win a race in 2012. Um, and the fact that Brad has, you know, I mean, I'm not I'm not going to say that Brad made the crew chiefs per se. I mean, the, the crew chiefs had something to do with the car, but the way that Brad drives the car gives the crew chiefs good information to work with, that is what, that's what helps the crew chiefs do so good on the cars, and Brad Keselowski has already managed to help two crew chiefs become winners in the, in the Nationwide Series. He did it with Paul Wolf, and he's his current cut crew chief um, since the start of the 2011 season. So Paul Wolf has well earned his spot in the Penske organization as a cut uh, crew chief, and I believe that uh, A.J. Allmendinger uh, and Todd Todd Gordon, Brad Keselowski, and Paul Wolf those four guys are going to work really well together in 2012. I believe that A.J. Allmendinger will win a race. I'm not, I'm not sure about multiple races, but I know he'll get his first. I, I believe that A.J. Allmendinger will get his first win in 2012 uh, driving the 22 car for Penske Racing. Penske Racing has some solid cars. Um, right now they're, they're whooping uh, their – right now Penske's whooping their normal uh, – their normal uh, IndyCar rival uh, Chip Ganassi's drivers butts uh, because they're just uh, they just have good cars right now Earnhardt Ganassi didn't do squat so um, it's been it's been fun watching the Penske organization um, grow especially since Kurt Busch left um, I just didn't really find that team a whole lot exciting when Kurt was there because Kurt was championship driver but seeing these young drivers these these young um, drivers who have uh, ha who've hardly, um, I mean, who, who've only had a few years under their belt, um, like Brad Keselowski, he, he, 
he won three races in only his second year with the organization after driving the Blue Deuce. So I expect bit, uh, more big things from Brad. I expect him to possibly be leading the points at some time in the uh, in the near or in the in the season. And then I also expect AJ Allmendinger to to challenge for the chase. I'm not sure if he will make the chase or not, but um, AJ has definitely improved every year that he's been in racing. Like him or not, AJ Allmendinger is going to do things. In fact, AJ Allmendinger won the Rolex 24 um, the other day, which was uh, pretty awesome to see that because AJ AJ is a really good driver. He deserves it. He got shafted at Red Bull, got shafted, well, he didn't really get shafted um, once he got to Petty. Petty gave him everything that they had, but now he's going to have the best stuff that he's ever been in at, at Penske. So I'm, I'm really excited for Shell Pennzoil finally getting a driver that I like in their car. Kevin Harvick, I, I, I'm not a fan of Kurt Busch, and I can't stand Kevin Harvick, so this will be the first driver that Shell Pennzoil's had. Um, as a major sponsor that I've really cared for, so it's going to be it's going to be good for me to be able to pull for that 22 car because I, I like that I like that 22 car. It's a nice slick looking car, but I just didn't like it when Kurt was driving it. And I didn't like it. I didn't like uh, Shell Pennzoil whenever they sponsored Harvick. So now that they have AJ Allmendinger, I think I like them a whole lot more now. Um, it's not really. Not so much the sponsors that I care about, it's most likely more more so the drivers, but um, it's it's been really good um, for them. Um, so yeah, and plus uh, on the Nationwide Series side, Parker Kligerman will be driving the 22 car um, in the races that Brad Keselowski is not. So I'm. Um, Definitely excited for, for, for that. Um, I, I, I like Parker Kligerman. He's going to be racing the full season for uh, uh, for Brad Keselowski racing again this year in the 29 uh, Dodge Ram, and uh, I expect him to win a race this year. Brad, uh, Parker has Parker did really good in, in the season in the series last year, and he scored the ninth place finish in the Bristol Nationwide race. Um, um, in the fall, so that was pretty. That was it was pretty exciting to watch. I, I hope I, I'm looking for big things from Parker Kligerman and from this new crew chief that'll be in the 22 car. And Sam Hornish Jr. won his first nationwide race at Phoenix. Same weekend, Casey Kane won. Um, and it was big. That was a big step for for Sam Hornish. Um, I don't think Sam Hornish. I still don't think Sam Hornish can cut it in Cup just yet. He needs a full year of Nationwide Series growth before he can return to the Cup Series. And uh, maybe P Penske will have enough sponsors and uh, funding to run a third team for 2013 and uh, bring Sam Hornish back to Cup. But uh, as of right now, I don't see that happening. Um, I'll just have to see how Sam does. Sam's, Sam's going to be the only driver at Penske to be able to go for the uh, Nationwide Series title. So I'm hoping for bit. I'm I'm hoping for big things from Sam. He he's really improved a lot. Um, well that's pretty much all. Uh, all I've had to say, other than uh, Brad Keselowski will be driving the second uh, Brad Keselowski racing truck in six races, including Daytona um, this season. Uh, his truck will be number 19, as uh, the truck the truck that uh, he owns used to be number 19. Uh, a few years ago, it used to be the number 19 Chevy. So it, it'll be good to see uh, Brad Keselowski Racing have two trucks in those six races, and it'll be really good to see Parker Kligerman do do really good. I, I really expect a lot from Parker Kligerman. He got a couple new sponsors. Um, Sam Hornish has full uh, funding for his nationwide campaign, so I'm, I'm I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for Penske Racing and for Dodge, and I'm hoping that this year Dodge will be able to come back and get more and uh, get more teams over to their side. I, w I want to see some more Dodges on the track. Mopar Power, um, that I've been a big fan of Mopar forever. Thank you.